review. Hello everybody, True Marvelous here, your Million G Gamer, welcome to a review of Ailment on the Xbox One, which released today, it's priced at £8.39, $9.99, and €9.99. So, what do we have with Ailment? Well, it's a top-down shooter, and now I'm going to, I wanted to say twin-stick shooter there, because you would originally think it is a twin-stick shooter, just by having a look at it, but it's uh, got a very, very bizarre mechanic to it. The aim auto aims. Whilst you're out of combat, if you're pushing up and fire, you'll fire up. If you're moving down and fire, you'll fire down, left and right, etc. Same kind of thing. But as soon as the combat music hits, which is when you encounter an enemy, that just goes out the window and the gun will automatically lock on, or I would say automatically try and lock on to the nearest enemy. But it doesn't do a very good job of it and um, the developer is aware of this and I've been told they are working on it but uh, I was fortunate enough to get a copy of this game quite a while before release probably about two weeks before release and um, they were informed straight away about the issue and it's now release day and we've still got the same issue um, one other problem with the game as well, I might as well get this out of the way while we're talking about problems, and it's really the only two issues with the game, but they are quite big issues, is you don't seem to take damage on an easy difficulty level. Now, I think, again, this is a bug, because I did an entire playthrough of the game, which took me about an hour, hour and a little bit, and I didn't take one point of damage. Though I did boot the game up the next day on the same difficulty level, just to have another go of it, just just for um, to see if it happened again and it didn't I was taking damage left right and center on it so I don't know if it's an intermediate glitch I have no clue but again the developer is aware of it and they have said they are fixing the aim problem and the health issue as well uh, because at the moment you just breeze through it if you get that glitch and nothing can touch you I mean, the game graphically is quite nice for the kind of era it's trying to imitate. I mean, it's obviously 16-bit kind of era, and if I'd have got this as a 16, uh, as a, you know, as when we were playing 16-bit consoles at the time, like Sega, Mega Drive or Genesis, Super Nintendo, I'd have been quite happy with this, other than the auto-aiming, obviously, because this game should really be a twin-stick shooter. It's, it's actually, you know, got potential as as a game really it kind of reminds you of the alien breeds that kind of thing uh back in the day chaos theory to a lesser extent because there's nothing it, there, there's a nice little story to this but it's not obviously on the level of uh, like chaos theory was oh chaos engine sorry chaos theory i don't know what i'm talking about after time it just needs a few little tweaks to it obviously the bugs i've mentioned sorting out the music's quite nice but the combat music gets repetitive if i wouldn't even had the combat music because it kind of alerts you well before the enemies show up on screen at something bad is coming at you uh what else can i say about the game three difficulty levels easy medium and hard Again, if you get the health glitch, it doesn't really matter what difficulty level you're playing on. Achievement-wise, it's basically a walkthrough if you get the glitch. You've got to get to the 10th level, which is not even the end of the game. The game has about 18, 20 levels. So you only have to get about halfway through the game to get the achievement. There's just 10 of them worth 100 game score each. So at the moment with the glitch, and probably without the glitch as well, it's on easy. It's going to be, you know, quite a... Achievement Hunters uh, game really because uh, you're going to get the thousand gamer score with little to no uh, trouble. I mean, as we stand at the moment, I'm just looking at true achievements right now, and uh, of the 56 people who've played it, 46 have completed it. So, as you can see, it's going to be an easy completion. Whether that is still the case when the problems are fixed, if they're fixed, I obviously don't know. But uh, would I recommend this game? Uh, probably I would say if you're an achievement hunter, yeah, get it because it's an easy thousand gamer score to your tally. If not, then I'd say probably not. I'd say probably wait for a 50% sale, pick it up at about four quid, something like that, four pounds, five dollars, something to that effect because it doesn't really do anything different. I mean, whilst it's not bad, it's also not good. The action does get 
repetitive. Each level is basically the same. You go and get a console key uh, to open a door. You then uh, go through that door, find another console which opens another door to eventually complete the level. Um, I would say there is a nice little twist at the end of the game, but it's not enough twist to make you go out and want to purchase this straight away. So other than Achievement Hunters, this is definitely, definitely a wait for a sale. Hope you enjoyed the review, guys. Please remember to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. It really does help, and I'll catch you on the next one.